Felipe Andres Cornell, aka Immortal Technique, was born February 19, 1978. Early life. Felipe was born in a military hospital in Lima. His family immigrated to Harlem, New York in 1980 to escape the Peruvian Civil War. During his teenage years, he was arrested multiple times for what he called, quote, selfish and childish behavior, end quote. He attended Hunter College on the Upper East Side of Manhattan where his classmates included Chris Hayes of MSNBC and Broadway playwright Lynn manuel Miranda. Shortly after enrolling in Penn State University, he was arrested and charged with assault-related offenses which led him to be incarcerated for a year. After being paroled, he took political science classes at Broad College in New York, honing his rapping skills while in jail. Felipe was unable to find decent wage paying employment. He began selling his music on the streets of New York and battling with other MCs. Musical Cura In 2001, Immortal Technique released his first album, Revolutionary Volume 1, without the help of a record label or distribution, instead using money earned from his rap battle wins. He also battled and lost to Poster Boy on 106 and Park Freestyle Friday. Revolutionary Volume 1 also contained the underground classic, Dance with the Devil. In November of 2002, he was listed by the Source magazine in its unsigned hype column. The following year, in September of 2003, he received a cover of Hip Hop Quotable while being unsigned and also releasing his second album that same year in 2003 entitled Revolutionary Volume 2. In 2005, Baby Grande Records re-released Immortal Technique debut album Revolutionary Volume 1 to make it available to a wider audience. Point of No Return was used as the interest theme for Richard Evans during UFC 88 main event. Between 2005 and 2007, Immortal Technique began working on The Middle Passage and The Third World, the two albums that will serve as the follow-up to the Revolutionary Volume 2 and complete the series. In 2011, Immortal Technique released The Martyr, a free compilation album of previously unreleased material and new tracks. In an interview in 2020, he discussed that he was working on a book and in the process of creating a new album, but he had faced setbacks because of COVID-19. Collaborations In 2005, he released Bin Laden, a single featuring Most Death and DJ Green Lantern. The single also contained a remix of the song that featured Chuck D and Public Enemy and KRS-One. Activism Immortal Technique visit prison to speak with the youth and working with immigrant rights activists and raising money for children hospital overseas.